Alright. Yes. Hey, it's Chris Homestead and Hardway. And uh, it's been a long time since we did a video. We were trying to get back on track. And something I wanted to show you since we were out here doing it. If you're new to the channel, I know we got a lot of new people. And maybe that's what we'll make this video about for our new subscribers. But uh, we don't really do anything just for YouTube. We're not a professional channel. If you see me doing something, it's because we had to do it. Not because uh, we did it just to show you. But we're, we're remodeling our oldest hog shelter that's up here. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'll tell you, we used to have them down there. And we moved everything up here. But once upon a time, there was a row of these shelters. They're four by 16. And they had four by eight stalls that went out in front. It was half in the air and half under the shelter for bottle calves. We used to put two calves to each stall. And there was a row of them all the way down. Used to feed a bunch of them. But at some point in time, 25 years ago, we turned it into a hog shelter. And just let you see the damage. What 25 years of hogs would do to one? I don't know if she can show you the chewed up post and the post chewed into and stuff like that, but that's there. And I might show you how to put the tin on it. We're tearing, that's something we'll tell you. We tore OSB off of it. It's in a pile over there. It's 30 years old. Outdoor OSB. I thought that did pretty good. There's always something to fix. Boards on the voting shooter rotten we got to replace them but we're going to be trying to do some videos uh we're back to full blooded do rot so we're going to do some pig breeding videos and talk about some pig crosses and stuff and uh, i don't know what about the tractor fixing videos i don't know if i'm gonna keep trying to do them or not they're too too aggravating for me to do with no gopro and darlene's not here to film during the day this summer we might try to do a few i never did the finish up video on that super eight we got it running and everything, got it going, but we didn't do a video on the full bit. I'm going to let her walk down here and show you the garden. Do a little garden update right quick. And just kind of trying to let y'all know we're still alive and planning on doing some stuff. We'll show you what's going on down there. If my aggravating puppy here will calm down long enough to do it. But I'm going to let her cut it off and take you down there and show you the garden. Good. Back on. Y'all yeah. excuse that hyper dog. She ain't been out all day. That's uh, broccoli cabbage. Got some onions. Four rows of potatoes. Another row of cabbage. Four or five rows? I thought it was five. What about five? That's five. Got a row of squash over there coming up. A row of cucumbers and an exceptionally good crop of nut grass. If we can find a market for nut grass, we'd be millionaires in a month. Because it's out there like hair on a dog. And uh, anybody that follows us, follows, follows us on the live streams knows we had some vandalism. So I planted three rows of sweet corn here, just kind of to hide my hogs. That's the only thing it's for. And we've talked about the little barrel planters in another video, about, us, uh, about the only way we can manage to grow a tomato. And those are some on clearance, 50 cent a piece celebrity tomatoes. But I do like those little barrel planters. I'll let her come up here and let her, I'll show you what we've done in them this year. And I wish we'd uh, done a video on it. I grew a good crop of collards up here. These little cut off barrels. All right, I'm just gonna let her show you this right quick. There's some peppers, some beets in one of these. Uh, one tomato plant. Remember what I told you about the tomato plants? You got to use new dirt every year for your tomato plants. And what we do is we make 
three or four, put tomatoes in them next year, we'll put a pepper pan or something. They're covered in maple seeds. Onions. More onions. This maple tree here had a bumper crop of seeds. And then, you know, you use the top of the barrel. We've got some down there with peppers and the stuff, but you use the top of the barrel, they make a really good uh, fire pot. But anyway, I just thought you might like to hear from us and see kind of what we had going on. And uh, I want you to remember, times are tough. The old ways are making a comeback. People need to know how to do this stuff, and we're glad to help you. Glad to answer emails, glad to help you any way I can. You can do it. You just got to get up and go do it. And remember, you never plow a field or turn it over in your mind. But what Homestead and Hardway video would be complete without a look at our piglets we have ready to go right now. There's two out there that's available if you know anybody wants any. I got one boy and one gill. The rest of them in that pen are spoke for. But they're the brother and sister to that prize guild I had that we had the problem somebody shot. Anyway, I'll let her take you out there and show you them, and I appreciate you watching. There they are. They're getting big. They've already been weaned. And they're ready to go. Got people coming and getting some this weekend. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you.